it's no doubt that COVID shut down our travel industry for a couple of years. Unfortunately for the class of 2024, that meant that we could possibly miss out on our travel plans. Well, that was the case, all the way up until our seventh grade year. Little did we know, Mr. Clark and staff had a plan. As the world reopened, they gave us four amazing destinations to choose from. And the choices were difficult. Utah, London, Paris, and Barcelona. So we have a tie. So we have decided to go to all four. And just like that, a group of 12 and 13 year olds were off to travel the world. First stop, London. As we boarded our flight, we were all buzzing with excitement. Not only because we were traveling to another continent, but because we were all traveling together as the class of 2024. We always have so much fun with each other that we constantly needed to remind ourselves to look out the window and take it all in. And boy, was there a lot to take in in Europe. As we took to the streets in London, we were immediately greeted by Big Ben, experienced the London Dungeon, drove around Piccadilly Circus, and explored the local nightlife before heading to the W Hotel where we were staying. It was really a postcard moment, seeing the famous taxis, the red double-decker buses, and traveling through the beautiful architecture on the way to our destinations. Everything we studied in our world history classes came to life with our visit to Windsor Castle, the oldest and largest occupied castle in the world. And home to 39 monarchs, it serves today as the final resting place for Queen Elizabeth II. Walking through the city, you really get the sense that London is a melting pot of cultures and experiences, past, present, and future. The Tower of London was majestic, and it's amazing to see how well England's rich history has been preserved and curated for the world to see. The sheer size of Westminster Abbey was mind-boggling. As one of the oldest buildings in the country, it makes me wonder how they built such a large structure before modern electricity. There is so much to look at, from the ceiling to the floor. I was happy to walk through the historic structures that stood the test of time. The British Museum is like no other museum in the world, containing artwork and relics from the pages of history. The building in and of itself is a work of art with this enormous glass pane ceiling. And whether we were exploring ancient civilizations or we were just relaxing in the park, the important part is that we were doing it together as the class of 2024. We had such a blast just chilling with each other and discussing the amazing things we just witnessed. We've just made it to Paris from London and we are right now at the Eiffel Tower. Built in 1889, it has been a world-renowned destination for all tourists here in Paris. An unexpected highlight of the trip was our river cruise dinner on the Seine River, giving us additional views of Paris and the Eiffel Tower. We ate delicious food we had never heard of before, and we had a dance party for the ages. We had a dance train, salsa, and laughed so hard at ourselves, I don't think we'll ever forget that night. Plus, it was my birthday that night, so that made it extra special. Like London, our Paris schedule was also jam-packed with beautiful museums and artworks, such as the art exhibits of the Musée d'Orsay, the architecturally impressive Tomb of Napoleon, and the iconic Louvre. As incredible as the Louvre structure is on the outside, it's what's on the inside that truly impresses. Ms. Mitra, our tour guide, is the best in the business, providing explanations and backstories to everything we saw. She didn't leave a single detail out, and for that, we truly appreciate her. The sculptures and artworks are amazing. Ms. Mitra took us to see the Venice de Milo, the Winged Victory, and the Mona Lisa, just to name a few things. For our final day in Europe, we visited Barcelona and stepped into the incredible mind of the architect Antonio Gaudi. The jaw-dropping buildings he designed in Barcelona took us all by surprise. It was as if we stepped into an alternate reality visiting the Casa Batio in its many mind-bending, colorful, vibrant spaces. Be sure to check out the digital room on the way out. To say it's out of this world is an understatement. The outdoor scenery at Park Gouet was like a theme park without roller coasters. It was that cool. It offered expansive views of the city, and we just got to see how many interesting buildings existed in Barcelona. Perhaps the most impressive structure of all time was the Sagrada Familia. This one-of-a-kind temple was the ultimate vision of Antonio Gaudi, and has been continually under construction for over 140 years. We finished up the day with a visit to the marketplace for some candy and a sunset stroll on the beach. And as the sun set on our trip to Europe, 
We look forward to our eighth grade year as the sun will rise over Nairobi for our trip to Kenya. In 2024, not only did we study and prepare for Kenya, but we also fundraised to donate supplies to the four schools we would be visiting while there. We landed in Nairobi, the capital of Kenya, and East Africa's most cosmopolitan city. It has a vibrant population of over 4.5 million people. From warm smiles to rich traditions, we were enchanted by the welcoming spirit of the Kenyan people. Our first two stops were sanctuaries for elephants and giraffes. It was amazing to see the orphan elephants interact with each other. They all had their individual personalities and preferences. Some of them really had an attitude. It was great to be close to nature to witness it all. We got pretty up close and personal with the giraffes, hand feeding them and petting them along the way. Next, we had an eye-opening visit to the revered Karen Blixen Museum and learned more about the rich history of Kenya, which made us super excited to dive deeper into the beautiful and diverse land. We visited the Shelter Children's Home, making connections with the students by performing for them and cheering them on as they performed for us. The landscape was so organic and beautiful. The trees, flowers, clothes hanging out to dry, everything. One of the things that impressed me the most about the school was the farm. The school is actually located on a farm where they teach the children how to tend to and live off the land. We drove further into the countryside to visit another school where we sat in their classrooms and learned more about their culture as they asked us questions about ours. Connecting and playing alongside other students our age was an amazing way to gain a new perspective on the world. And it was kind of hard to say goodbye when it was time to leave. We were so happy to leave them with some school supplies as a token of our appreciation. And then we took a drive through the breathtaking Kenyan landscape to the Maasai Mara National Game Reserve, where our beautiful lodge gave us front row seats to the most famous safari in the world. I'm sure I can speak for everyone on the trip when I say, it's giving Lion King. Simply step outside of your lodge door and you're greeted by all kinds of vibrant plants, reptiles, and wildlife. It was amazing to see a family of baboons 20 feet in front of you minding their own business. We really felt like we were on an action-adventure movie as we raced through the dirt roads on safari in our powerful Land Rovers. It was a super bumpy ride, and being thrown back and forth in the vehicle like rag dolls made it all the more fun. All the animals came out to see us. It seemed like every one of them knew we were coming and decided to come out and make a grand appearance. We saw gazelles, hyenas, antelopes, buffalo, elephants, hippos, ostriches, giraffes, warthogs, and yes, the king of the jungle graced us with his presence, the lion, and we got really close. We saw so many animals in their natural habitat, undisturbed by modern society. It's not like going to a zoo. It was humbling to know that we were witnessing wildlife, living and interacting with nature in the same ways as they did in ancient times. Maasai Mara, with its rolling hills, vast savannas, dramatic river crossings, and of course, more wildlife than a Disney movie, is definitely a wonder of the world in my mind. A pivotal experience was visiting the Maasai people to learn their culture and traditions up close. The Maasai are one of the most famous tribes in Africa. They taught us their traditional dances, and it was a surreal encounter. Our entire class joined in the performance, and there was a strong connection felt between all of us. I will say, even more than the safari, nothing was more life-changing than connecting to the students at the schools. It was heartwarming to see the children of the Maasai community attending these schools, developing skills that they will bring back to their tribe and community. And we were glad to help in any way that we could. And our last stop in Kenya at the One Horizon Future Leaders Program was a complete blessing. We did face paintings, played games, and then played some word games. They were so happy we were there, and we had a really good time. To see the love and attention that each one of these children are receiving at the program is heartwarming. The Kenyan people kept reminding us that Kenya is now a home away from home for us. And even though Atlanta is thousands of miles away, these experiences will live on in the hearts of the class of 2024 for a lifetime.